Chinese tourism in Boston and Massachusetts has boomed. More tourists from China now visit Boston than any other country outside of North America. And officials from Boston and Massachusetts think there is room for growth. So all this week, members of the Boston Visitors and Convention Bureau and the Mass Office of Tourism are on a mission to China, a mission to drum up more interest in Boston and Massachusetts. And I spoke by phone with Angela Vento, one of the delegation leaders who's right now in Shanghai. China, just with its sheer population, was uh, a point of interest. So we talked about what are some initiatives? How do we work to get flights, um, which Governor Patrick was already working on? How do we start to develop partnerships with the travel community? And then how do we build awareness in the destination? Um, and so with that, we were fortunate enough in 2014 to get um, Hanan Airlines to um, bring in its maiden flight from Beijing um, and the Sheraton Bus to host that event. Um, we also started to see an increase in travel, um, especially at conferences, but also um, visitors that were interested in educational tourism, tours of Harvard, MIT, and, and immersion there. How important do you believe in the future is Chinese tourism to Boston? We know already it's quite substantial. Yes, it, it reached over 200,000 um, in 2015. Um, we have our eyes and goals set on achieving 500,000 visitors by 2021. Um, and the signs that we're hearing today is with the right infrastructure and programs that are welcoming, um, we can achieve those numbers. China is already, it's the number two international destination into Boston already, only behind Canada. What is the attraction on the part of Chinese tourists to Boston? Well, I would tell you that there is a, really a cultural driver for the Chinese citizens to be able to travel. There's prestige with it. There's the knowledge that comes with it. Being able to say that you've been to some of the world's best cities um, is terrific, and there's just a great learning opportunity. And, and we start with certainly a long-term relationship with trade. Um, then just things like the book Walden Pond was widely published here in the Chinese. Um, so many have read it, um, aspire to see things like that. And then our universities and medicine, uh, medical schools, uh, just add to already the American history. So it, it's very broad. They love food. Uh, they like culture. Um, and they also like shopping. So we serve all of those needs, and we're really close connections. This nonstop service from Beijing, Shanghai, as well as Hong Kong is really vital to long-term success. Briefly, Angela, when you return, uh, how will you define success from this trip? I believe that if we see growth in the numbers of activities that, that um, the visitors are doing, and really most importantly, we can see the arrival numbers, continue to rise. If we can, if we can start to exceed by 50,000, uh, you know, perhaps even if we could reach that 300,000 mark, um, those would be significant numbers. And the delegation will be returning to Massachusetts on Saturday.